Mahomes takes the snap at his right thigh, dumps it over the middle, caught by Kelsey at the 30, spins back and behind Kelsey at the 15 yard line, Kelsey at the 10, 5, touchdown, Kansas City in the biggest AFC West game in five years, the Chiefs put the hammer down with a 34 yard touchdown pass, Mahomes to Kelsey. That was how things ended the last time we played the Chargers in LA. It was one of the best regular season games of the last several years, and hopefully we'll get a similar result on Sunday as the Chiefs aim to add to their lead in the AFC West. Hey everyone, and welcome into our game preview this week presented by Crown Royal. My name is Matt McMullen, and this week we're joined by one of the greatest running backs of his generation. It's Maurice Jones-Drew. MJD, what's going on, man? Uh, nothing. Just, just hanging out, man, getting ready for some good football uh, coming up here on Sunday. Yeah, as are we. Can't wait for this one. It's a big time showdown in the AFC West. And if the Chiefs can win this game, it'll go a long way in hopefully securing a seventh consecutive AFC West title. It would give the Chiefs basically a four game lead in the division with seven games left in the year. And in order to do that, the offense wants to keep humming along here. It's the number one scoring offense in the NFL. Racked up nearly 500 yards from scrimmage last week uh, against Jacksonville. How can the Chiefs keep it going here offensively against a talented but banged up Chargers defense? Well, I think the biggest thing is is taking what the defense uh, gives you, right? Patrick Mahomes has done an awesome job of that, not really forcing the ball down the field, but throwing it to the open guy. And, and a lot of that, well, there was a lot of questions that were, were kind of asked or brought up when Tyreek Hill left and went to Miami. Like, who is he going to throw the ball to? How is his offense going to look? And he's done a, a tremendous job of just making sure that he's not forcing the ball into double coverage. He's not trying to force the ball to one guy. They're spreading it around and guys are coming open to run the ball much better than they've had in the past. And you know what else? He takes off with his legs, right? And so now he's had that element to his game in order to beat the Tennessee Titans and keep that going. He took off with his legs and ran and he's showing that he he's a gamer. He can do whatever it takes to win. So uh, if you're playing this Chargers defense, they give up a lot. Guys are coming open there. They're very competitive, but guys will come open. You have to slow down Khalil Mack, though, first. You have to make sure you take care of him, and then you're able to kind of move forward. Yeah, it has to be frustrating playing this Chiefs offense because there's so many playmakers all over the place. Ten different players have caught a touchdown for the Chiefs this year, so there's so many guys who can make plays. And even if you cover everything perfectly, like we saw in the Titans game, Patrick Mahomes is going to take off for a 20-yard gain on third and 17. So uh, hopefully the Chiefs can keep it rolling here uh, against the Chargers in L.A. Now, looking at the Chargers offense, it's been kind of a weird year for them. And to their credit, they've hung on. They're 5-4 and four despite a negative 28-point differential this year. And they've had a lot of injuries. They'll probably get some guys back here in this one. But it's also been a strange year for Justin Herbert. He's averaging 5.45 yards per attempt since week five. Uh, that's last in the NFL among quarterbacks with at least 100 passing attempts. Still a very dangerous player, though. Uh, what are you expecting for the Chiefs defense against this Chargers offense on Sunday night? And how can they slow the Chargers down? Well, I mean, I think the biggest thing you said at best is, do, do they get guys back? Is Keenan Allen coming back? Will Mike Williams try to make it push back for this game? Um, it, it's tough when you don't have your top two targets out there to kind of create separation and make plays. And so Justin Herbert's been put in a tough position. But this always happens to the Chargers when you have high expectations for them. Guys get banged up, guys get hurt, and then they kind of have to play with their backups which helps them out in the long run. So for me, if you're the, the Chiefs defense, Chris Jones have to take advantage of these two guards, right? You got to find a way to get pressure interior on Justin Herbert, get him off his spot, and force him to scramble to his left to throw the football. Now, obviously, your left tackle, the left tackle is out. So Frank Clark, if you're on that side or whichever DN's on that side, you got to make sure you keep containing, keep him in there so that with that interior pressure, you can kind of cage him in a little bit. They still have playmakers on that offensive side with guys being out. And Carter's one of them, a guy that's kind of a special teams return guy, but is kind of taking the role of a wide receiver one. Uh, found a way to score on Sunday night football against the Niners on a great route, a great concept. Uh, and then Austin Eckler, right? Who's going to cover him and tackle him out of the backfield? That's going to be the most important thing. As you see, they're going to try to get him the ball in so many ways, throwing it to him, handoffs, uh, lining him up a wide receiver, quick screens. They're going to do everything they can to get him the ball in space because he is their only guy that's been healthy throughout the course of the season. So, uh, expect the Chargers to come out and try to defend their home. But if you're the Chiefs defense, uh, again, that interior pressure, keeping everything in front of you, uh, very similar to what the Niners did on Sunday night. They, they made them go the length of the field, not with a big play, but methodically down the field. It's hard for a Chargers team to do that with all, with all their weapons out. Yeah, you mentioned Austin Eckler. I think he's really the key in this one. 
Uh, he's been targeted 81 times in the passing game this year. That's the most among all running backs by a wide margin. Travis Kelsey, for context, has been targeted 84 times in the Chiefs offense. So consistently, Justin Herbert is looking for Austin Eckler uh, in the passing game. We'll see who's back in this game. But overall, it will be a challenge for the Chiefs. Uh, this Charger squad is fighting for their season here. But if the Chiefs can win this game, it would mean a three-game lead in the AFC West and the tiebreaker. So basically a four-game lead in the division with just seven games left. That would go a long way in trying to lock up a seventh consecutive AFC West title uh, here this season. MJD, awesome stuff, man. Really appreciate your time. No problem.